Hey Taurus. Okay, so let's get this started. <sighs> First of all, take what resonates, leave the rest, and you know the drill. You know, it's not going to apply to everyone, but we shall see what goes on. Um, I felt like I wanted to intuitively pull these crystals for the collective and this is black tourmaline this is black obsidian well actually it's black obsidian and rainbow obsidian mixed I actually have this for sale on my Etsy store I made this I have um, other pendulums on my Etsy store if you wanted to look at those and see what they look like and the link is down below. So, the crystals I picked was selenite, amethyst, pyrite, and goldstone. Along with the black tourmaline and the rainbow obsidian. When it comes to these two, pyrite, the black obsidian, and the black tourmaline. Highly protective. Takes a neg it takes a negative and disperses back positive. So it's basically, they are basically alchemy stones. Um, you can use pyrite for protection. You can use pyrite to uh, ward off negative people, to ward off drama to protect yourself from whatever it is that you need protection from or whoever you need protection from. Um, same thing with black tourmaline. When it comes to selenite, I feel like you've been wanting to clear out old habits of certain thinking patterns. Um, you're wanting to change certain things and you know, get rid of negative stuff. Um, you've been wanting to change things, whether it's your job, your home life, maybe you're getting ready to move. I feel like there are some big changes that are coming and you're really trying to make room for them by pushing out the bad stuff to welcome in the good stuff. Goldstone is about ambition. It's about drive. It's about focus. It's about change. It's about um, welcoming all the new stuff in your life. Look how shiny and pretty that is. So I feel like that you're on that ambitious drive, like you're focused and you know what you want. You might have some things along the way that's kind of disheartening. Um, you know, whether it's people or whether it's changing your own frame of mind, you might not be in the best moods to be told what to do right now <laughs> or ever. <laughs> I know sometimes you feel like you're misunderstood, which goes right into the amethyst. Amethyst is about connecting with your ancestors, connecting with your angels, um, praying for yourself. Um enlightening yourself raising your own vibration um testing your psychic abilities becoming more clear with what you see and how you feel becoming more focused clarity i think i already said that but it clears your mind and it helps with all of that so all of these in ways are getting rid of negative bringing in positive and then protecting yourself hopes and dreams it's like you got some hopes and dreams going on you have things cooking in that brain of yours and you may be wanting to like you're all on the change bus right now like you're wanting that change you're hungry for it you have things that you're looking forward to and so you're really trying to clear it out is what I feel Taurus 
La la la. Let's learn how to shuffle without popping off a nail. Yikes. 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 This is craziness. Just craziness. This is like the worst shuffle ever, isn't it? Okay. Okay. I am tapping into my higher self and my spirit guides to tap into your higher self and your spirit guides to get the messages that you need that you need for this week. I am making this a timeless reading because it can, you know, whenever you see this is when it's going to serve you. But once again, only take what resonates because it is a general reading. Okay, spirit, what messages does Taurus need to know? I'm going to turn these around. What messages does Taurus need to know? Okay, so we already have the Emperor. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. And then we have the Lovers and the Two of Coins. Which is the Two of Pentacles in reverse. I see some arguments, Taurus. I see some fighting and stubbornness. Um, I see some arguments. I see things coming to a head. Um, you might be... You might be interested in somebody or okay maybe you're not interested in somebody but maybe you are <clears throat> either way something is rubbing you the wrong way sorry my notebook almost fell off the bed because I do make notes when I am doing readings. So. The three of wands to me. I'm feeling like there's a third party thing going on. You may not. You're being stubborn about letting something or somebody go. And you might be torn in between. I feel like that maybe you try really hard, especially in this emperor. This is emperor uh, energy. So you're trying to make it seem like I I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I'm right here. I'm standing in my own light. I am going to be stubborn. Um, but you're torn. It's like the three right here. You have one too many people that you're interested in. And I feel like maybe you have a new interest versus an old interest. Um, maybe you're already in a relationship and then it could be a twin flame coming in. Or it could be you're already in a situation and you met a new, a new person. Or maybe a person just became available and you're just wanting to talk. But things might be getting a little more than just friends type situation. Um, and you're just standing in your stubbornness of, I'm not going to let it go any further than this.
Five of Swords in Reverse. You might be worried about making mistakes. Because you're too wound up into what you want versus what you need. You might be afraid of what is it going to mean if I do this? Like, if this is about love, if it's about a business venture, whatever you put it towards. But because the lover's card popped up, I am looking at it like lover's. But it could be any kind of collaboration. It could be friendship, family member, business partner, whatever. So, you might be in your own thoughts, really deep in your own feelings of, what if I fall in love? What if I give too much? What if, you know, I'm not accepted and I end up messing up like I always do? But the thing is, Taurus, is that, you know, you have that hard-headedness, you have that bull-headedness where... You think that you know before you know. And you're not going to know until you put yourself in this situation. So, if you stop the prejudging, I'm afraid of this, I'm afraid of that, I'm afraid of this. You're, you're living behind your fears. Nobody is going to live behind your fears with you. And they shouldn't have to. But when it comes to your fears, it's like you need to let go of them for you. Because at some point in time, you're going to have to take that step back and say, okay... What do I want to experience? List all the things that you want to experience in life. Cancel out everybody, okay? Cancel out your love interest. Cancel out things that you're doing. Cancel out, like, cancel all that stuff out. Put yourself singly in a room. List all the things that you want in your life. Are you doing it? Are you working towards it? Or are you too busy living in your own fear of it's not going to work? Anything is going to work if you apply yourself to it for it to work. So it's like if you, you have to go through the process. You have to go through the bumps. You have to go through the falls. You have to go through things to excel. You're not going to learn unless you make so-called mistakes. That's why there's really no such thing as a mistake because it's supposed to be for your higher learning. You're not going to perfect something the first time. It's not going to be perfect the first time. And if it is, you're fucking lucky. The question is, is how important is it to you? The question is, how much do you want to commit to um, making it right? The lovers in reverse, I feel like you're just too much in your head and you're, and you're going to end up just being where you're at. Like, if you are in a connection right now, let's say that you're in a connection. It may be a casual connection. It could be a, you guys might be fooling each other type of connection of, oh, we're just friends with benefits type thing, right? And you might be fooling yourselves into thinking that that's all it is. But if you think about that other person having sex with somebody else, does it bother you? That's a double standard. That 
you know, especially if you're open to do what you want to do. If you're doing some sneaky stuff, it's going to come back and bite you in the ass. If you're doing sneaky things, it's going to come back and bite you in the ass. You're going to have to, you know, if you're torn between two people, if you're torn between two people, the best thing for you to do, especially if you're not committing to either one of them, the best thing for you to do is take a step back and see, are you really doing what you need to do? It's almost like you sitting in this emperor power, you know, you might have two people that you're not committed to, but they're busy living life and you might feel like that you're going to get left behind. If you don't make a choice to decide to move forward for yourself, they have every right to leave you behind. Nobody wants to stay stagnant. Nobody wants to live behind your fears. And that's for you to open up and be honest with yourself. Is this making me happy? And if the answer is no, then that means you need to change it. The two of coins is the same as two of, two of pentacles. Two of pentacles. So I feel that, you know, you could be having some prosperity or abundance issues. You may have some money issues going on. Maybe you have too many bills. Maybe you have, you know, you feel like you need to get another job. It could also be with your energy. It doesn't have to necessarily be monetary. But with the reading of where it's going on, with the, the indicating that there's a third party, the lovers of what, you know, so this very well could be your energy. You feel like you're kind of dispersing your energy. You might be feeling one, one place, but you're doing another. And from the five of swords in reverse, I know that you're feeling some kind of way. But what's holding you back? What is holding you back, Taurus? Why are you doing that to yourself? That's the question. Why are you doing that to yourself? Because you're not hurting anybody but yourself. Spirit, what is the outcome of this? What is the outcome of Taurus decides to let go and move on and step out of his stubborn zone? And I say his because the emperor right here, but this is not gender specific. We have the Knight of Wands. Three of Cups. Still going to have to make a choice. Page of Cups. There's still a choice that needs to be made here. There's still a choice that needs to be made here. For you. But at least you're moving more in the right direction. Even though there's a choice to be made. You know, I mean, if you actually listen to yourself, you might drop them both and, and go on your own way. The only reason why I'm saying that you're still having to make a choice is because the Three of Cups came up. Three of Cups with the Three of Wands. 
you know, it still shows that there's more than one party here. But the Knight of Wands is all about movement. It's all about going forward. Um, being away from home, like maybe you travel, maybe you, maybe you have a long distance person that you would go and see. Maybe you have one person by you and you have another person that is long distance. So it's like if you got out of your head, maybe you would make those travel plans. Maybe you would go ahead and maybe that's who you would go for. Or maybe that's who you would try. I am getting the feeling that if it is the kind of situation where you would have to travel because that's what this, this card is, is really about, like, moving on, traveling, going abroad, that type of thing. So, it's like if you got out of your stubborn emperor energy, it looks like you have moved towards a person that may be away from you. Because the Three of Cups is also about resolving problems. So it's like maybe that's what this would be. Is you would resolve the problems with the person who is away from you. That would be entirely up to you. Coming to a conclusion. The Page of Cups is all about um, being reflective, being affectionate, being a charmer, being youthful. I feel like if you if you actually this actually gave me more of an answer than anything. If you have a person that's local and then you have a person that is um, long distance, they are like really heavily on your mind. It's like, take that chance, travel, see what you're going to see, come to the conclusion, and it's like, you're going to find a, a new you. <laughs> it's like, all this is going to kind of like fall away. I feel like that you would probably choose the long distance person if that's what this is. You would probably be happier with the long distance person. So that's what would happen if you got out of the stubbornness, Taurus. And if you got past what you were feeling and what you were thinking and doing. We're going to pull some uh, song oracles. Somebody has you out of your element. That's interesting. Okay. Alright, Spirit. What... What oracle messages do you have for my Taurus babies? We have John Lennon, we have Kate Bush, we have Beyonce, hey, Earth sign, we got Kurt Cobain, and we have Frank Sinatra. You gotta love Frankie. Okay, so let's see what John Lennon has to say. Not everything you see is a mirage. Not everything you hear is a lie. If you enjoy wasting time, then it isn't wasted. Peace is the only thing worth hoping for. 
That's very profound. Resonate with however it resonates. You have Kate Bush. Never let go of mystery. Cultivate nostalgia for what never was. The arrows of desire are sometimes dipped in poison. That last part, the arrows of desire are sometimes dipped in poison. So if you have, I, I'm actually looking at that as a, I think that you might have a love interest and then you might have a friends with benefits type thing. Just keep in mind, if you look up, look up sexual imprint. <laughs> You actually absorb the energies of people that you have sex with. And just make sure you're not dipping it in poison. Or having poison dipped in you. Whichever resonates for you. Beyonce. Confidence can be the most powerful aphrodisiac. Be both everywhere and nowhere at once. When someone sings from the heart. Don't go tone deaf. If you have messages coming to you, if people, you know, whoever you're interested in, if they are talking to you about something or something's important to them, listen to what they're saying. They're telling you the truth. Kurt Cobain. We're all in this mess together, so we may as well make some noise. Don't become your own tribute band. You can't buy Team Spirit. <laughs> Team Spirit. Oh my goodness, that's a good one. That's also really good. You know, don't become too stagnant. Enjoy the road and the path that you're on. Totally enjoy it. Frank Sinatra. Everyone looks up to the guy behind the guy. Fly yourself to the moon of your choice. You only get one shot at life, so aim high. And enjoy that shit, Taurus. You might be too much in your head. You're stopping yourself from having like a really good experience, it seems like. I think that you're holding on to certain things that, you know, it's almost like you're haunting yourself. It's almost like you're haunting yourself. We're going to get some more messages from Spirit. Okay, Spirit, what messages do you, what more, what other messages do you have for my lovely Taurus people? <laughs> what will help them get through this, Spirit? What will help Taurus get through this? to jump out so we're taking it okay we're gonna take these two this one this one and that one illumination illumination is about making sure that you're not um Prejudging something, making sure that you are seeing something for what it actually is versus what you want it to be. If you're thinking something is too good to be true and it's really not too good to be true, but it's the only way that you can think about it so you can turn it off in your head, stop doing that shit. Because you are stunning your own growth. <laughs> need to work on growth of going forward. I know that you probably have some things that hold you back and they're really good reasons to, you know, for you to hold yourself back. But the thing is, is that that's not life. That's not life. That's not life. Holding yourself back is not life. Holding yourself back is not growth. You're scared of the sadness. 
You know, I feel like that when it comes to growth, you're scared of the sadness of what could be. That tells me that there might be some codependency going on where you're looking like it's all or nothing. Like if you're in a relationship, you're codependent. Like that other person can't do anything without you feeling like, uh, like you guilt tripping them almost. Like, you can't do that without me. How dare you do that without me? Like, if they were to go to work and, ex and excel at something, are you going to... You can't do that without me. You can't do that without my input. Like, can they do anything without your input? Are they allowed? And it's like, I think that that brings you a lot of sadness when stuff like that happens. Like, maybe they want... You know, it's healthy to have your own things that you love, but it's also healthy for your, your partner to have things that they love as well. And you allow them that breathing space. Intuition. Instead of living behind your fear, use your intuition. And stop worrying about what may not happen. Because you don't know until you actually try. Test out your intuition and see. You might be holding a lot of underlying anger with the past. I feel like it's past related. I don't feel like it's now related. You might be harboring some anger for from past relationships of things that people did to you. Which is why you're so hesitant. To actually do something, you know, that is in a healthy way. But just keep in mind that, once again, by reliving things over and over and over in your head. The person who hurt you, you're allowing them to hurt you over and over and over again. When they're probably not even thinking about it. It's like you're the one who's placing it there on a cycle. You're the one there placing it. And it's going on a turntable. You have to release that. And not blame the next person. Not, um, you know, stop making people feel bad for what you went through. When they had nothing to do with that. They had nothing to do with that. And the thing is, is that, you know, sometimes life brings you together. And sometimes life brings you apart. But you're here to learn and you're here to take different lessons and apply them to the next step of your life. Not just to stay stuck and stagnant and, and, oh, okay, I got hurt so I can never love again. Okay, I got hurt so I'm never, I'm not going to commit to a good person. Let's put it like this, that good person that you want to commit to, you don't commit to them. Guess what? They're going to move on. And when they move on, they're going to come. Somebody is going to commit to them because they saw how that person was. And in your mind, you're going to probably be mad at them for it. For not waiting on you to stop being a stubborn. You might feel some kind of way about that. But the thing is, is that, you know, this pain that you're bringing on, you're bringing it on yourself. You're bringing the past forward and you really don't need to bring the past forward. That's the whole thing. You don't really need to bring the past forward. This was kind of a nightmare. But at least I shuffled them, right? So let's just go ahead and get started with this. Okay, so I'm going to pull some love message cards for you. This could be from uh, your person or persons. Uh, since I feel like there's some more than one. Um, it could be from your higher self. It could be from your spirit guides. It could be from a loved one that has passed over. It could be from anywhere. So, spirit, what 
love messages do you have for my lovely Taurus beauties? These are kind of hard to shuffle. We're going to do one more shuffle. See if one pops out. It did not. So we're just going to take this one. And this one. Alright. Oh, well dang. Two of them popped out with this one. So we're still taking them. Okay. My nail popped out right here. I have press on nails. I use press on nails. I don't like acrylics. And I don't paint my nails. I hate using nail polish remover. I hate the whole nail painting process. They're still cute though. You can laugh with me. Go for it. <laughs> okay, so give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. You're blocking yourself, Taurus. Stop blocking yourself from the love that you could have. You could have this love. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. This could be towards one or two of your interests take how it resonates embrace through each other you find the missing pieces that was a good one too but you have to be willing to be open to expose your missing pieces so that way you can see what needs to be fixed within each other. And that it's not just about what you've been through. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. This is probably from the person that may be at a distance. Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So those are the messages that I have for you today, Taurus. I hope you resonate. I hope it helps. I hope you laughed at my nail popping off in, at the end there. This is like the second reading it's done that on. The first one was um, on a different video and it was a way longer nail and it just like pop. I'm not going to sit there and edit it out. You know what? We're human and it's like I said on that other video. Yeah, and I'm even popping my knuckles right now. It's like I said on another video. If you're here to criticize my nail popping off, you're here for the wrong reason. But you can still give me shit on it anyway because I'm just that type of person. Okay. This is what I have. I am sending you so much love, light, protection, and healing. And I really hope that you start making yourself happy. Going after what it is that you truly want. And, you know, start making your life yours. Stop living in the pain. Stop living in the pain. Stop living in the past. That's what I have for you. I do book personal readings. If you're interested, the link is down below. My Etsy store link is down below. A few other links are linked down below. Too many for me to go through. 
So I will see you next week. I am sending you lots of love and I will talk to you soon. Have a good one.